Sting decided to transfer venue of its December concert at SM Mall of Asia because of a letter from Cheryl L. Daitek Yangon stating, among others, that Sting, a voice of the oppressed, cannot sing in the halls of the oppressor. Let us know the truth. Our, our forum is here to bring out the knowledge of what is true. If you're armed with the truth, of course you all know it. Everyone can set free. And that's my goal. At the end of the forum, each one of us, hopefully, will be set free. Sting has made the decision, and we respect his decision. As to whether we agree with this decision, as to whether we agree whether the facts uh, on which this decision was based are correct, then we cannot agree with that. Uh, the decision of Sting were basically based on a letter sent by attorney Cheryl Daitek Yamon. Who is she? She accused SM of violating the TEPO, the Temporary Environmental Protection Order, which was issued by the court. That's also wrong. When it was issued, a copy was given to the DNR. DNR then furnished the officers of SMC Baguio. Attorney Daitek must know, because she went to law school and she's a lawyer, that when you serve orders, you just don't serve it anywhere, on anyone, at any office. You serve it at council's address. To the plaintiffs, let us not mislead our public. Dahil yung 182 na yan, hindi lahat yan fine. We understand it's a sensitive tree, delicate tree. That's why we work with the DNR. In the presence of the DNR, we heard bald and transplanted. Not just the pine, but the almus. And for our purposes, we will over replace 50,000. That's the commitment. They said they had evidence. Sabi nila may mga evidence sila. Sabi nila may expert witness sila. Pero ano bang nangyari sa court? Their lone expert witness was discredited. Dr. Michael Pengwayan was discredited at the witness line. After that, sino pa yung pinresent nila? Pinresent nila si EMP Director Juan Miguel Cuna. Anong sabi ni Director Cuna? Ah, SM, nag-comply kayo. Hindi nyo nga kailangan ng social acceptability for this expansion kasi expansion na lang yan. Pero ano sabi ni Director Cuna? Pero nag-submit ba kayo ng mga certification from the host barangay? Realizing that their own evidence worked against them. What did SM do? Pwede nang hindi kami nagpresenta ng ebidensya eh. Kasi sa assessment namin, wala naman silang nakuha. Pero anong ginawa namin sa court? We still presented eight witnesses every day. Hindi kami nag-cause ng delay, hindi kami nag-cause ng postponement. Tapos anong nangyari? Nag-present kami ng mga sarili naming expert witnesses from the DNR and the consultants who rendered services. And anong sabi nila? Any environmental impact will be mitigated. Even if the DNR said, oh, you replace the trees or the affected trees or any single tree that may die because of the earth boiling and not cutting, ha? earth boiling, you replace them. But what has SM done? As of today, SM has already planted 20,000 trees in the, as part of the 50,000 commitment. And today, as, as I speak, there are about 13,000 more trees being planted in the Busol watershed. Sino lang ba nagtatanong doon? It's through the efforts of the volunteers and through the efforts of SM. SM, even before the expansion, have always participated in greening Baguio City, not only Baguio City, but entire Philippines. There will be a list of many projects. And all of those facts were presented in court. Tapos na eh. Tapos na. Nag-present na siya ng evidence. Nag-present na kami ng evidence. Yung theoretical stage, no? We're at the stage when we have already offered their evidence. We're just waiting for the ruling of the court. Then after that, I understand the court may require us to submit another memorandum. So after that, wala nang siguro kami court hearings. Puro pleading sa lang magpapaya sa court. Pero from our perspective, ano ginawa ng mga plaintiffs? Since they weren't able to present any credible evidence in court, now they go back to the media. Now they go back to... The, to cyberspace and attack SM. Many accusations were hurled against us. All of them false. We clarified that and we proved it in court. We complied with all the rules and all the applicable laws. 
Which is why we're here today. 